This episode brought to you by Jetpack Comics and Games, New Hampshire's comic book megastore. My name is Michael. I've been absolutely fascinated by tabletop role-playing games for the better part of my life, and on behalf of the Monstrous Activity Surveillance and Observation Network, I am obligated to remind you that if you are approached by an otherworldly entity and tasked with the universe's salvation, just say no. Welcome to Roll With Me. Today I'm kicking off a series all about the different hunter playbooks in Monster of the Week. How to run them, what role they best fulfill, and how to best utilize them as the keeper for maximum fun per session. Uh, and we're starting off with one of my absolute favorites of all of the playbooks in both books, The Chosen. Your birth was prophesized. You are the chosen one. With your abilities, you can save the world. It all rests on you. Only you. Only you can defeat him, Chad. Okay. The Chosen is a super fun playbook. As a tool of destiny itself, you have this divine purpose and a whole lot of esoteric baggage that goes along with it. Um, one thing I absolutely love, I have to say, about Monster of the Week is just how open-ended everything is. Uh, it, it just allows for so much like additive and so much flavor. Um, so your playbook, uh, like a class in Dungeons and Dragons, is uh, is the additive to your character, is the affectation that we put um, on uh, on our character. It, it doesn't determine the type of person we are, right? That's, that's in our character building, but uh, it tells us what is special about us, especially in Monster of the Week. Um, the playbook unlike a class in Dungeons and Dragons, does not define um, sort of our morality or, or our tendencies, but it, it simply gives us a little more to play with other than we're just a regular Joe. Your Chosen could be a hard-headed zealot uh, or reluctant to the point of refusing the call. They could be a well-trained warrior born into a life of monster hunting and epic journeys, or they could be an assistant manager at Dick's Sporting Goods who touched the wrong rune on a rock in their spelunking vacation in Montana last summer. Now, the obvious place uh, in the party for the Chosen uh, is at the head of the group. It's not a far leap to expect someone literally chosen by a higher power to lead a ragtag group of uh, monster hunters on a quest to save the world. However, it can be way more fun to play with a uh, either a hyper-reluctant leadership or, or an internal power struggle of some kind, you know? Who's the top dog in the party? <laughs> Not no, necessary. Not, there shall be no knifing one another. Everybody knows who's in charge. Where the Chosen truly shines is in explicitly dangerous situations. With abilities like uh, invincibility and resilience, allowing them to mitigate tons of harm and heal with superhumanly speed, uh, the, the Chosen is the action hero of the group. Uh, in D&D terms, the Chosen might be considered a tank, but Monster of the Week is not D&D. They get a special weapon, they get some kick-ass moves, they get a fate, and some doom. Doom, 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 doom. For flavor, and here's where it gets really fun. Something to consider is just where the Chosen's prophecy comes from, right? Uh, is it the call of a trans-dimensional alien warrior? Is it an ancient Mesopotamian mural coming to fruition thousands of years later? Uh, did Nostradamus predict it? Is it the will of the Greek, Egyptian, or the other such Zoroastrian gods? Who is it? Who's doing the choosing of the chosen? Who cho chooses? Who cho chooses the? Who chooses the chosen? Who or what controls or stands behind the prophecy of the chosen one can have an enormous impact 
on your game? Do they even know who they serve? Is it shrouded in mystery like Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars? Some ooh, force power destiny? Or are they reminded daily uh, a la Duck Newton in the Adventure Zone? Diving into these topics as a player can really help you fill out your character. Doing this as a keeper can help you with your storytelling and flesh out your game as a whole with some uh, character-specific storylines and gripping mysteries. Destiny's plaything is one of my favorite moves in all of Monster of the Week. It's If you're not familiar, it goes like this. At the beginning of each mystery, roll plus weird to see what is revealed about your immediate future. On a 10 plus, the keeper will reveal a useful detail about the coming mystery. On a 7 to 9, you get a vague hint about it, and on a miss, something bad is going to happen to you. I like to play these out as troubling dreams that the Chosen has at the start of each mystery. Um, the higher the roll, the clearer the image that comes through in the dream. And on a miss, they have some recurring nightmare about taking their SATs, but they forgot to wear their pants and also their parents are there. No, Fire Lord Ozai, you're not wearing pants. And then, of course, there's the given move, I'm here for a reason. This is how the Keeper and the Hunter uh, get together and iron out all of the details of what their fate might be, how it all connects, and how aware the Hunter is of everything. Because proper communication is super important, and it literally exists as a written rule in this game. Man. What a cool game. Now, if you or a hunter you know is running a chosen playbook, you should definitely head over to my brand new website, wingatethebrand.com, and check out this exclusive chosen t-shirt, available for a limited time only, maybe not, I don't know, it might be exclusive. There's tons of other shenanigans and merch and chicanery uh, on this website. Also, uh, the Raven Creek Monster of the Week campaign setting is out and available for free at patreon.com slash michaelwingate. It's got all sorts of fun locations, characters, and factions to implement in your games, and I'm super happy with how it came out and all of the positive feedback I've been getting. Y'all are the best. I hope you guys found this one helpful. As always, uh, share in the comments any, anything, uh, other things you might want me to cover. I think for a while I'm gonna be doing some uh, some deep dives into the playbooks uh, in little short videos, but if you guys have any other ideas, send them over my way. And also like and subscribe and tell your friends and share and contact Michael Sands and tell him the the good word and, and you know, um, and, buy, and buy the game and do the, do the game. You know, play Monster of the Week. It's the best. I think I'm done. I'm done.